So windows in holes tend to be a little more difficult um, in the casting process, but a lot of times they're needed for the end design. So great ways you can add um, holes in there and make it castable is either doing bridges or even adding um, gates and risers to that area where you add, use a secondary uh, saw operation to remove it or even using machining to remove that extra area. But always wanted to make sure you have some type of path so that you can help the metal continue to flow throughout the casting and not get stopped where that window or hole is. Sure. Yeah, and I think this this is pretty common. Uh, we see a lot in our, our process. And to Rachel's point, you know, it, it being permanent molds a really good near net shape casting. It comes out uh, typically with minimum uh, needed secondary operations. And this this being one of them. So if you need a, a cord, you know, you need a window or you need a cord hole uh, designed in the mold where we can do some minimum cleanup afterwards if needed, typically sharp areas or if it needs a tighter tolerance than, than the casting itself. Um, but yeah, I mean, Great, great feature, uh, great addition to the, uh, the permanent mold possibilities. Yeah, and we've also seen it where it's been designed where there's almost an impression, similar to how you use court, uh, cores, where you have the impression in there so you know, hey, that's where your window's gonna be at yep. for secondary machining. Absolutely. Fix that.